while ago, there used to be a lot of things on how to make big shooters out of two shooters, but uh, I can't find them all that much anymore, so I got some images, and I figured I'd show you how to uh, do it in video format, because I don't really have a place to post images besides uh, Instagram, which I might also do. We'll see. But uh, here's the video. I hope you enjoy. Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you in part one of my uh, How to Make a Big Shooter series on how to actually make the Big Shooter itself. Turn that into a Big Shooter. Now step one, we're just going to want to remove these mold lines. Well, I'll take your clippers. These are some. Okay. And so, depending on which barrel you want to go in front, um, you should probably you really should decide that at the start. So I'm going to go with that. This green arm is going to be the front barrel. Now, remember how this is going to end up looking. You're taking the body and barrel first. So as you can kind of see. And then you are shaving that down a bit. And you're putting the second barrel on it. So I'm going to have this barrel be the front one. Now this one's going to be a bit weird. I'm kind of glad. Because we have this little very, very tiny top right there. Attaching the barrel to the body of the gun. So it's going to make this a bit more difficult, so we're just going to have to shave that off eventually. But for now, we are going to put, take our snippers, like this, and cut the actual tip, so you won't need to drill this barrel. So be this is finished. So, going on to part two. now. We could slap chop this and cut off the arm and do all this horrific stuff to it like we're that one kid from Toy Story. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is I'm going to clear away some parts on the end of my mat. We're going to cut here where the barrel connects to the actual gun. Zoom in a little bit. We're just going to line it up. We're gonna switch to the other side and we're going to try and do the same thing so it gets more even cut. We're basically just going to chop. Now, that's probably not good for the knife. It's probably not very safe. Probably not very even, but God, it takes a while if you don't do that. Yeah, as you can see, it's very, very obviously not even. So, eh. And then we're just going to shave away this, this little part here, and we're also going to zoom. So, here we have the barrel of our big shooter. Now first we're going to use a marker. And we're going to mark where we want the hole for the drill bit to go in. And we're doing this to drill barrels because, well, it looks nice. Well, maybe we'll go at it. So we'll just start a very small, you don't want to go super deep because that will fuck it up even more. Go at it with this one, see if this is any better. So this is kind of the motion I like to do that I actually find to be most efficient. This kind of back and forth halfway. Alright, there we have our drilled out barrel. As you can see, just kind of do that. I don't really like this little stub here, so we're just going to get rid of that and shave it off.
And now we try to dry fit, and as we can see, it's not really that even. Alright, so we're going to get out our plastic glue, and we're going to do a very... Oop, we're actually going to do that. We're going to take a little bit off and just put it on a nearby paper towel. We're going to combine the two parts. There we go. Now luckily, because we're using plastic glue, it's kind of uh, melting to it, which lets us reposition it a little bit better. And super glue might. As for the stuff on the bottom, that creates a cool little scuffed mark on it too. Very useful. Thank you for watching YouTube. Uh, you can click one of the other videos, and I should have some more parts coming out relatively soon uh, with this series of making a picture duck.